And so I want to introduce you um, to, to, our, uh, to our, our, our fun little superstar today, Henry Green. Do we have a Henry Green in the house? Can we get a Henry Green up here? You coming up as well? Yes. Listen, we're going to let your parents come up as well, but I really want you right now, okay? As you can tell, Henry and I are already in sync. I don't know if you can see his bow tie, okay? But um, we knew that today was going to be a great day, and you can see he's got some serious product in his hair, okay? And so, obviously, he's ready for the Avenue Church, is all I have to say. Henry, we love you. We love you already. Yes, we do. Mm. Just because you belong to the Lord, you belong to us. Now, I'm going to let Mommy and Daddy hold you while I say a few things about you. <laughs> we can welcome uh, Derek and Susie as well. Can we give them a hand, Derek and Susie? So Derek, Derek and Susie have been longtime members of the Avenue Church, been a part of our story for, for quite a while, and uh, we, getting to see your story. The, your wedding was like epic. I mean, not many people sort of like have the entrance that you had, Susie. So if you missed it, you know, all I have to say is there was a helicopter and it was amazing. <laughs> I've been a part of a lot of weddings, but that was a super, super awesome one. So I wasn't sure how Henry was going to get here today, but I can see it's just <laughs> kind of through his stroller. So that's fine. That's totally cool. Um, but... Uh, you know, like, we've, we've just been a part of your love story. We've seen healing. We've seen just the, the goodness of God on your life. Um, and uh, and it's, today is a, is a special day to be able to celebrate and, uh, and commission you guys as, as godly parents and, and also commission the church to, uh, to rally around you. And so there's a few scriptures I'm going to read, and then I have a couple of questions uh, that we're going to, to ask. As far as um, Matthew, what we're doing here today, there's, there's, this is nothing salvific, which means because we're praying over this child doesn't mean that, that he's going to have automatic salvation or that like, he's been made right before God. Henry still needs the blood of Christ like we do. He, he's going to come to a place where, where he needs to understand his, his own sinfulness and his own need of Jesus, his Savior, just like you guys did. But today is an opportunity for us to celebrate the gift of Henry and then also say, hey, we're in this together. Like, this is a, a beautiful God journey that we're joining um, together. And so we see some precedents for this in Matthew 19, uh, 13 through 15. Then the little children were brought to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. When he had placed his hands on them, he went from there. And then Psalm 127 verses 3 through 5 says this, behold, Children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb, a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies at the gate. And so we see that, that Jesus loved welcoming children early and often. I love I loved the way Jesus handles kids, and I hope that this is the way we handle kids here at the AC. It's like we've got important business going on, and we're like, we're in the word of God, we're doing certain things, but if there's a child who has need, it's like we stop, like the important adult stuff, and we attend to, to the God stuff. You understand that, right? I mean, I get it, it's all God stuff. But, but the, the theme of the Avenue Church would be that, that the kids win, that we're willing to reorient our lives for the children and get down on their level. Like, that should be our MO at the Avenue Church, whether it's because, you know, like you're serving over in, in Kingdom Kids or Kingdom Students or we're praying for you guys today or whatever the case may be because that's exactly what God did for us. It's like God reoriented everything to come and get on our level that he might call us sons and daughters. And so when we stop and attend and give attention to the things that are not interruptions but are the heart of God, man, I just, I just feel like that there's a pleasure in that that we and the Lord experience together. And so today, we're here to do that, and, and, and Derek and Susie, there's a few questions that I'm going to ask of you, and, and we're doing this in a public setting because um, we're, we want you to say affirming yes publicly, but, but we want you guys to hear what they're saying yes to because you're going to say yes to walking alongside them in this. That's why people get married out in public, because there's like something about taking a vow in public where there's a level of accountability and celebration. 
And that's what today uh, gets to be all about. And so Derek and Susie, um, will you commit yourselves to pursuing Jesus above all else? Yeah, yeah. Listen, um, that's question number one. And there's going to be nothing more important than you can give to Henry than your commitment to pursue Jesus over everything else, including Henry. That's actually how you pursue Henry's heart, is by pursuing the heart of Jesus first. And so this is a whatever it takes mentality, because life will not always be as it is right now. There might be more Henrys, or, or, or like the chaos of life just might get crazier, or whatever the case may be. Like it won't always be Henry just kind of chilling, like he is right now. Hey, Henry. I'm not going to mess it up. So, okay, so the point is this. It won't always be in this like really cool catered moment. Like you're going to have to go get it. And, and that means you're going to have to say no to a few things. And man, so, so the first question as, as we think about like celebrating Henry and dedicating Henry is will you devote your hearts to Jesus above all else? And the answer to that has been yes. Will you commit yourselves to pursuing your marriage in all seasons? Yes. The second greatest gift you can give Henry is to fall radically in love with one another over and over and over again. The scriptures give us this beautiful picture of marriage and how it's this story of the gospel. And now you've, you've been given somebody in your home to read the gospel message day after day after day. So never think that there could be a more important gift than pursuing Jesus and one another for Henry. Will you commit yourself to pursuing the gospel of grace? So not like a works-heavy, performance-based, no, no, no. The gospel of grace that you've received, will you commit to pursuing that in Henry's heart for his whole life? Will you commit to that? Yes. Commit to like, like helping the gospel come to life in Henry's heart. And things like that might include reading scripture to him, uh, uh, praying for him and with him, uh, showing him the ways of the gospel, both through your obedience, but also by being vulnerable about your failures and letting him know that his parents need Jesus just as much as he does. And that Jesus is the hero of your home, not Derek and Susie. Will you share your story with Henry as appropriate and invite him in to how God has done this work in your life? Those are the ways that we can pursue gospel grace for our children. Do you commit to that? And then finally, will you commit yourselves to pursuing all these things with us together? So it's easier not to be here. It's easier to be at home. It's easier to, to move out of community as your family and the demands, things like that. It's just easier not to be a part of this family. I've seen it. I know it. I feel it in my own family. But God calls us to do this together. This is where his gospel is most pronounced. And so will you commit to doing this with us in all seasons? Yeah, awesome. AC family, I have a question for you, then we're going to pray over these guys. Will you commit yourselves to pursuing Henry as though he were your own in these ways? Will you? You understand that there's a lot of Henrys that we have now. <laughs> Our kingdom kids is growing. The needs and the demands of volunteers is growing. Being, being available to, to people like, like the Greens in this season of their life, whether it's watching their children or, or praying for their children or, or, or being over there on Sunday so that, so that Henry meets Jesus on his level. This is a serious question I ask you. That you, would, that you would look at Henry as though he were your own. But that, that's the way a covenant family operates, as though he were or she were my own. And so I thank you for your affirmative, and I look forward to walking together with you in that. And so at this time, in order to um, sort of begin our first step of obedience and living all of this out, both with you and the, and the new members behind you, Henry's new, uh, we'll just call them uncles for right now until they, they know Henry a little bit better. We're going we're gonna to pray over you, and we're going to pray over, over the new members as well. And so um, if you guys could kind of come in close, and if, you got, if Henry and, and the Greens, if you guys want to step forward here a little bit. And now Avenue Church, um, this, is, this is just the way we do it, and, uh, and I'm going to ask you, uh, if you would, if you would just come on forward, love for you to come on forward. You're, you're not maybe going to have a full space up here to make a circle around them, but come on forward. If 
if you're, if you're a, a regular attender and, and part of the Avenue Church, you're welcome to partake in this moment. If you're family of anybody here, you're welcome to partake in this moment. And the, what we do is you just get as close as you can and put your hand on the shoulder of somebody in front of you who's doing the same all the way to the people in the middle of this circle that we're praying for. So come on in. Henry's like, whoa, this is a <laughs> big family. Henry, you have a lot of love that surrounds you. And may you see this as both the protectiveness and the provision of God for you for the rest of your life. Father, we pray for the greens, first off, that you would fill them with your spirit, Lord. God, that you would give them just the delight of your heart in parenting. God, that they might learn the wonders of how you look at us through the way that they look at Henry. God, would you give them strength to pursue you, Jesus, above all else? Would you give them strength to pursue one another in all seasons of their marriage? And Father, would you give them the wisdom and the spirit to pursue the gospel of grace in Henry's heart, that they would come to Henry in every season of his life, day after day after day, that there would be such a ministry of presence in Henry's life that Henry, from an early age, would have demonstrated your love for him, God, through his parents and through this family. And Father, now we pray for Henry. Lord, and we surrender Henry to you. And we ask that you would win Henry's heart early and that you would win it often. Father, and that you would... Uh, call Henry to yourself, that you would give him a saving faith, that you would fill him with your spirit and you would use him to bless the nations. Father, his, his daddy texted me this morning about uh, the verse in Hebrews, that it takes faith to please you. God, I just pray even in this moment over Henry right now, a special prayer of faith that he would be known, that his legacy on this side of heaven would be that he is a man of faith that pleased you and won the hearts of many to you, Jesus. Help us as a family to join you in this mission, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you.